Good morning guys, I am actually just waking up. Finally going fishing today. It's been like a week since I've been on the water. This last week of weather has just been absolutely brutal. I mean, the conditions are just, it's, it's supposed to be April, but it's really not acting that way. But anyways, today, fishing with good buddy Michael. Guys, look at this. Michael got a new house, that's pretty cool. He is inside making us breakfast, what a nice guy. Um, today we are chasing after some walleyes and in the afternoon gonna try to go get some pike. That's the goal, little multi-species day. Hopefully we can get it done. What a wonderful surprise this morning. We get to the boat launch. We try launching the boat. How deep is the launch? <laughs> it's shallow. <laughs> <laughs> Two inches deep of muck. Oh, we got some nice muck on the tires there. It's already nine o'clock. That was a bummer. You know, that's the thing about fishing new water. You know, you never know what you're gonna run into. So that's the start of our morning. We luckily have full tummies, thanks to Michael here. Chef, he's a great chef. But yeah, we gotta find a new launch and uh, hopefully get fishing soon. Well, we finally made it safely onto the water. That was annoying, that's not how you wanna start your morning, but that's okay. We're gonna go and chase walleyes right away. And once, oh, well, last night, it got down to like 15 degrees. So that's why we're gonna hold off on the pike in the bays, and then we're just gonna go for walleyes right away. Hopefully that works out, I don't know, I don't know. We've never really fished this area. So, another shot in the dark, but hey, it might be good, it might be good. Okay guys, we are finally fishing for walleyes. I got the old fly on. This is actually the spot where I saw the fly in action. So, first time, so I'm gonna replicate what those guys were doing that I was watching, I don't know, a month ago. Hopefully we can get into some walleyes and saugers. Ooh, hooked up. I wish we were hooked up. We are not. We are kind of dying in the walleye department. Yeah, it's definitely illegal. That's a that's illegal right there. Yeah, guys, not been good for Mike and I. It's really looking like we want to go pike fishing. The more and more we cast for these walleyes. Not, oh, I have, wow, that's the first bite of the day. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow, I got a big perch. Okay, that's a surprise catch. But yeah, first perch. Wow, of, wow, that's really surprising. Did not think we'd be catching a perch today. First bite of the day. All right, goodbye, little guy. Another one. Fish on. Second cast after the last perch. Is it another perch? That would be wild. Oh, first sauger. Okay, we're finally getting into fish. Took a little bit, but we went a little deeper. Look how that thing just gobbled up that fly. Michael, you want to switch to a fly? You've never caught a fish on a fly. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I got one rigged up, man. All right, hook is up. That's definitely a short. But hey, I'll take it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was being distracted and uh, fish on. <laughs> I was, yeah, well, I was kind of moving it a little bit. Definitely a small fish. Another perch. We sh maybe we should have kept that first one, Michael. Yeah, this one's kind of small, but for most people, eh, it could have been a keeper. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, another one. Fish on. That's like, oh, that actually had weight to, and that flipping thing came off. Was my hook bent out? No. Oh. It could be sharpened. I'm sure I got it stuck in a rock at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 boo. <laughs> <laughs> Michael finally got a nipple. <laughs> okay guys, current time is 12.30 and uh, we want to go chase pike because you know we have our obsession with fish with teeth. There's actually a cloud line coming in. We do want to fish these spots while there still is sun because heat of the day is generally good for pike. That's the game plan. We can always come back here if we need to. But at this point, the video could go downhill really, really fast. <laughs> we could not see anything, so 
Who knows? Who knows? Okay, guys, we are finally casting for a pike. I am starting off with a shadow wrap shad and uh, hopefully we can find some post-spawn, pre-spawn, I don't know what they'll be. But they should be in these, in, in near their spawning areas. Update for you guys, uh, first pike spot, not so hot. Nothing there, looked very promising, but like I said before, this video will probably turn downhill, but who knows, we're at a new spot. Looks also very nice. And uh, hopefully we can find some pike. I don't know. Oh, what? Wow, did I scare myself. Oh, guys, I thought we were hooked up. We are not hooked up. We are hooked up with a log or something. Man, it, the log even bit on the paws. That was cool. <laughs> that was sucks. All right, it's out of there. I don't know what happened today. Like I said before, this video could turn downhill really fast and... Michael, is it? Is I'm it? I'm not having fun. <laughs> yeah, he's not having fun, that's okay. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Um, looks like Pike is probably not gonna happen today. So, we got a long little journey ahead of us to get back walleye fishing. Not exactly what we wanted to do. We just wanted to end the day Pike fishing. So now we're gonna end the day walleye fishing, which is fine, but not not what we had, had in the plans. Fish, finally. Okay, we are back on the walleye program, and it feels so, what are you? Oh my goodness, wow. This is what we came back here for. That is awesome. That is the smallest walleye I've ever caught. That is a see-through walleye. You can Right, you can actually see through this. Can we take it home? Hey, Michael, do you want a pet for your new house? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that thing is very cute. All right, that's not a good sign. Fish on? I'm gonna get the big cam out for you because I think it's gonna be ginormous. Michael finally has a fish on. How? What, what is your, what, it only took eight hours? I suck. <laughs> Wow, isn't it an actual nice fish? Do we need a net? Or did it just eat that far out? Oh, dude, that's a big sauger. <laughs> that is a keeper sauger. Okay. Oh, guaranteed has to be. I guess I shouldn't say guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. 15 inches. There we go. My first fish of the day. <laughs> It only took how many hours, but I don't know. We got a little distracted looking at looking for pike, which often happens when I'm along. But uh, <laughs> came back after these, so cool, very nice. Oh my god! <gasps> Guys, did you see that one? That was scary. That was really scary. I got my fly stuck in the in the tree and I only have the one fly tied to my line and Michael's line. Oh, fish on. I was actually straight retrieving that. That was weird. <laughs> I was thinking in my head, what if you just straight retrieved a fly slowly on the bottom? Oh, it's another perch. What the heck? What is happening today? Never caught a perch on this system ever again and that's actually a really nice... Tasty perch that would be. Michael, he looks so cute. I don't know if I can do it. But it would go well with that sauger in the in the live well. <laughs> I promise it wasn't on purpose. The fire in his eyes right now is like nothing else. Oh man, I was gonna do it too. That perch was dead. You got a perch? Wow, what do you have? Wow, even smaller than mine. Is that a sauger or a walleye? A what is that? I've never seen anything like it. That's weird. All right. Well, at least we're catching fish now. 
fish out. Feels a little better. That can't be a perch. No way. Maybe in that. Huh? Oh, it's a nice little soggy. I'll take that. I don't know. We're gonna have to measure this one, Michael. All right. Let's see the measurement on this little guy. And not quite 14, 14 inch. That's okay. Still catching fish. Okay, I'll show you guys what I'm using here. I got a green fly on with a three-way swivel, then tied to like a, a dropper that's like, I don't know, 10 inches below. And I'll show you how I am working this fly. It's really easy. We are in 17 feet of water, fishing a, a river channel. Let the fly hit the bottom, and all we're doing is just dragging it nice and slow. Let it hit bottom and drag it. Super simple. Well, that's a wrap, folks. Uh, tough day on the water. Not exactly what we had in plan. We wanted to catch big pike, but what's the theory that we have? They got to be spawning or something. Yeah, just... I mean, from what we heard from the locals, you know, a week ago they were staging. Yeah. And, um, yeah. You know, they very well could be there. We're at 40 degrees optimum spawning temperature. Yep, so, so you never know. I don't know. But we opted for, you know, the fish that are biting right now. Catch, caught some walleyes and a few perch, some random perch. So whatever. We caught fish today. You're not going to catch a lot of fish every day you get out on the water. But good thing we did. It was good. It was good. So Did we catch more walleyes or saugers? No walleye. I think I got one walleye. One walleye. Well, yeah, more saugers, that's true. <laughs> good point, good point. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.